everyone how are you welcome to my youtube channel my name is dr yabo i'm the money to honey coach i'm a business and lifestyle coach for women i'm a board certified pediatrician welcome to my channel if you are not yet already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button now before we continue if you want to learn more about me if you want to sign up to my newsletter sign up for my coaching buy my book all of that good stuff make sure you remember to go to the description on this video and click on to my website link go to my website and learn all about me and follow me on instagram as well i'm very active on instagram so i hope you've already hit the subscribe button now now let's get into it okay what are we discussing today i'm discussing with you six reasons why why women who are very beautiful are sometimes dumped for less attractive women i know this is a not a rumor out there i know this is something that a lot of people discuss like what's wrong with that man what happened to him look at the beautiful woman he was dating and now he's dating that woman over there how could he do that why did he do that is he out of his mind is he insecure because he was you know he didn't feel confident dating a beautiful woman and he's dating a less beautiful one because he was insecure and he's feeling like people will want to steal that woman from him or he feels he's not good enough for that woman. We all try to bring up all sorts of justifications and our opinions and all other things that we bring up. But I've done a lot of research about this. I told you guys that when I was divorced, I read a ton of relationship books. I did a lot of research about relationships and I still read a lot. And I've come up with these six reasons from my readings why and from my own knowledge and speaking to a few men that I did date during my divorce years and why we may it sometimes feel like men are silly or stupid and they leave a beautiful woman and they go ahead and start dating a less beautiful one i'm never gonna call any woman ugly i'm a woman and i know that women have all their own unique traits and unique uh, beauty points and unique advantages we're all beautifully and wonderfully made by god so in the eye of humans some women are more beautiful than others but there's no ugly woman in my opinion but today we're talking about those six reasons why or you may be the beautiful woman or you may be the less attractive woman watching this video right you may be the beautiful woman who was dumped by your boyfriend or husband for a less beautiful woman and you're thinking how on earth what is wrong with him see how beautiful i am or you may be the less attractive woman who is the woman who the man is now with who left his beauty queen woman who looks like Halle Berry or who looks like Beyonce and is now with you and you're thinking oh my goodness what is going on I'm scared I'm not as beautiful as her so let's break it down today right let's break it down today so the number one reason that I found in all my readings and from talking to men is there was no emotional connection okay everybody wants some kind of emotional connection right you as a woman if you're watching this or a man you don't want to be with somebody for the rest of your life or that you're committed to you're engaged or you're married to or you're in a long relationship with who you're not emotionally or spiritually connected to you know i mean the physical yes we understand i've talked about the physical connection on some videos but the number one reason why men mysteriously dump or leave some beautiful queens for a less beautiful one is with the beautiful queen they had no emotional connection with them you know once you meet somebody you're attracted to them and then you start to get to know them on an emotional basis and you start to really learn what they're made of on the inside their hearts their spirits their soul and you guys don't connect emotionally it's not going to work and that's hard work having to live with that person for the rest of your life if you guys know even if you have a friend or a best friend or whoever that you don't have an emotional connection with it's not going to be a very nice relationship to be in so that's number one 
those men that we say oh how could he have because they just didn't have an emotional connection with the pretty or the beautiful woman you can't make anybody emotionally connect with somebody if they can't it's a very personal thing i don't judge anybody who says they don't have an emotional connection with somebody else it's not their fault it's just how they are built that is just who they are so that's number one there was lack of emotional connection number two pretty outside doesn't mean pretty inside oops oops ouch right like they say because you're beautiful or because you're handsome the same thing with men not just women because you're george clooney or brad pitt or you're denzel washington or whoever is you know the ideal handsome man out there or the ideal beautiful woman because you are not because you're pretty on the outside doesn't mean you're pretty inside some people just have a nasty attitude <laughs> you know not everybody is nice inside i'm not saying you have to be nice and kind and all that means sometimes means different things to different people there's seven to eight billion people in the world i cannot i'm not a psychologist i cannot you know decide why anybody feels the way they do but if that person thinks in the first instance they thought you were pretty and beautiful and as time went on they realized you're not pretty or beautiful on the inside they will at some point not be into you anymore and they'll want to go and meet somebody who is pretty on the inside and maybe at that point they would have realized oh gosh i don't think i want to go for beautiful queens anymore i need to look for somebody who i'm still attracted to physically but who's pretty on the inside so number two is quite straightforward you're pretty on the outside but you're not pretty on the inside to that person it doesn't mean that you're a bad person so you should move on and go and look for somebody that will think you're pretty on the inside and if you think you have a bad attitude maybe you should internalize meditate over the head and try to change your mentality and your mindset and work on yourself maybe you haven't healed from something that is why people think you have a nasty inside or a nasty attitude a lot of women who haven't healed from past hurts from breakups from cheating from all sorts of things they go into relationships with all of their hurts and their pain and their prettiness on the outside quickly translates into ugliness on the inside okay so i will call the inside ugly because yes if you haven't healed you will manifest ugliness from the inside so make sure you've healed and if you've healed maybe you were just wrong for that guy you don't have to dwell on that if you're wrong for one guy there's probably one guy out there who think you're pretty inside and out move on to somebody who will appreciate you but i'm just doing this video to let you know why men dump beautiful women for less beautiful ones okay number three very important no intellectual connection the first thing i said was emotional connection number three no intellectual connection right some people just don't connect intellectually if you're a very academic person and you meet somebody who isn't on the same intellectual level as you it may not work so if a man in the first instance meets a woman who he thinks so oh, she's beautiful she's pretty but if he's very intellectual if he's traveled a lot if he knows a lot about the world knows a lot about science knows a lot about everything and then he meets a woman who he cannot even have an intellectual conversation with it's going to get boring quickly yeah <laughs> you know it's going to get boring quickly and there are some men who that's important to it's not all men but if you're unlucky and you're a beauty queen or you check all the boxes but then you marry a man who has an intellectual mind and he wants to be able to discuss intellectual things or worldly things or global things with you and you don't have any of that it's probably not going to go well and he's going to get tired of it and this seemingly beautiful woman people are gossiping oh how could he have dumped that woman and gone to that other woman well 
It's just because he had no intellectual connection with that beautiful woman and he didn't want to live the rest of his life without having to be able to have a conversation with his wife or his girlfriend or his fiance. Number three, no intellectual connection. Number four, lack of emotional intelligence we women and i'm a woman too so i say we women some of us have to learn how to be emotionally mature we have to learn how to not dump our emotions and our reactions on our husbands or on people or other people this again is kind of connected to number one or number two right a lot of women haven't healed from their past hurts, from their past failures, from their past lives, from all sorts of past things. They carry this around and it be makes them become unnecessarily emotional. They take it out on people. They blame people for the way they're feeling. They lose their temper easily. They cry easily. Their emotions are just all over the place. They haven't healed. They need to see a therapist. It's just a lot of garbage, basically. I've been there, so I'm not talking any woman down. If you are that woman whose life is just a mess, you don't know what to do, you cry, you cry easily, you lash out easily, you shout easily, you're hurting. You need to get a therapist, and you definitely don't need to be dating right now. You need to get a therapist. You need to get a coach. You need to breathe. You need to take time to re-energize refresh renew yourself reconnect with yourself you have no business dating so some men meet women like that who are beautiful and who look lovely they check all the physical boxes but when they meet them they notice that they are not emotionally mature they are just emotional roller coasters and some men don't do well with those kinds of women so it's going to be like, oh, he dumped that beautiful woman. How could he? But people don't know, understand that that beautiful woman who is all, who looks all put together and looks all sophisticated and everything out there behind closed doors, she can deal with her emotions, right? Lack of emotional intelligence, lack of emotional maturity. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, lack of intimacy, no sex poor sex, infrequent sex. If the husband wants sex 20 times a month and the wife only wants it two times a month or minus one time a month, you do the math. That is going to be an unbalanced math equation, right? I'm sorry I'm laughing, but this one is real. This one happens a lot. You'll see the beautiful woman, sexy, sultry out there, and the man will tell you, I'm not getting any. I haven't gotten any for a long time. And so they move on to the woman who is sexy, maybe not as beautiful as that one, but she's good with physical intimacy. She's good with sexual intimacy. She, she, they get it often. They have a really good sexual connection and emotional connection and intellectual connection. And she's pretty on the inside. They will stay with that woman. Are you getting my point? So I'm not blame. This is not a blame game video. This is a video to let women understand that pretty is not everything. Pretty hurts, right? Is that a Beyonce song? But honestly, jokes aside, if he's not getting some, he will get tired of not getting some. And he may dump you to go and find somebody that will give him some. That's just the way it is. This is why... I think I have a video down there somewhere. I'm going to make sure I link it to this video so that immediately after this, you'll go and watch it. How to increase physical intimacy in your relationship, right? Go watch that video. It's very important because if your guy isn't getting any sex, he's going to want to move to somebody else where he gets it. He can't live the rest of his life without having sex. The poor guy, right? He's married and he's not getting any. So is he going to be married for 40, 50 years without getting any? He may dump you to go and find somebody where he'll get some. So that one's straightforward. Number six, number six, I'm going to put three things together here. He doesn't feel loved. He doesn't feel respected. He doesn't feel supported. That one is self-explanatory. If you're in a relationship or you're married to somebody or engaged to somebody who doesn't support you, 
who doesn't respect you, who doesn't love you, or at least doesn't show it. There's some people who say those things, but they don't actually show them. He doesn't feel like when you're, you know, the things he says, you support him. You don't support him with his work. You don't support him with his goals and dreams, with his plans, with all of those things, right? He's not going to feel connected to you. So that one is self-explanatory. And I know I've left that one last because I know women are going to say, but how can I respect him when he doesn't do this, when he doesn't do that? that's a discussion for another day i do get that and i'm a woman i get that too but today i'm just giving you the six reasons why we men leave those beautiful queens pretty queens to go to a less attractive woman and they seemingly then start being so happy with that less attractive woman they you know you look at them and they're both happy they're doing well meanwhile when he was with the beauty queen they were not doing well that is the reason for this video i will address other reasons later about why you don't respect the man because he doesn't respect you i get that but i'm just giving you the six reasons today so let's recap the six reasons why men leave beautiful women for less beautiful ones number one lack of emotional connection number two the woman was not pretty on the inside number three there was no intellectual intellectual connection number four the woman lacks emotional maturity number six lack of sex or poor sex or very little sex number six he didn't feel loved respect and supported i hope this video helped I will see you on the next video. I had fun with this video for some reason. I don't know why I was laughing so much, but it's kind of funny because this is something that we've all been talking about since my secondary school years. You people will always say, can you imagine that guy? Can you imagine who he left? He left that really pretty girl and see who he's dating now. But when you look at the person he's dating now, they actually seem to be happy or see who he's married to. This is why, guys, and I'm sure I could even think of many other reasons. If you can think of any other reasons why men dump beautiful women for less beautiful ones, please type it in the comments so that we can help each other. I love you all. We're all learning together. Let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to, to touch on, whether it's about money or, or about your honey or about self-care and taking care of ourselves. Love you all. God bless you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.